Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today, I'm going to be talking about my 2018 favorite. Starting off with what I use kind of to keep my skin uh, blemish free. I mean, well, I think that's a lot of that's just hormones and your genetics because I had serious acne when I was a teenager and it's gotten better and better as life has gone on. The Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion Exfoliator. I got this in a BoxyCharm not too long ago and it is pretty much completely empty. I am basically squeezing out the um, whatever is left in there every shower because I love it so much and it works so well. It gets rid of like the blackheads on my nose um, and then I have some like texture kind of on my chin like blackhead wise texture. I don't know if they're blackheads or like underneath the skin. I don't really know. But it's textury and I don't like it because you can see it um, when I put makeup on. So Renew Skin Radiance Polishes and Smooth. So basically this is just like an exfoliating polisher type thing for your face. Um, I think you can get Dr. Brandt at Sephora. I Like I said, I got this in a BoxyCharm. So, and I've used like, it's literally like empty, empty. It's lasting me quite a while. You don't have to use that much. It's so fine. And I the little... Um, exfoliating things in there. Let's see what's it mm, doesn't really say there. Um a little exfoliating like beads or whatever they are in there. It almost feels like sand, like very fine sand. Um it's very fine. So I love that. I love a good exfoliator. I just it just makes my face feel so refreshed and I do it even if I'm gonna be wearing makeup or not, but if I'm gonna be wearing makeup or like a more heavy makeup, um or more full coverage, I will use that and I can tell a difference right away. So I would definitely consider that if you feel like you've got some, some texture due to like blackheads or something. Um, the second thing is something I received in my December BoxyCharm. This is not all BoxyCharm, but I do get a lot of makeup from BoxyCharm and I love it. Um, this is a face mask. It is the Cosmetics Detox Activated Charcoal Mask. So it, um, it's, you don't have to leave it on for like 10 to 15 minutes, it dries, um, it does a very similar job to the exfoliator. It just kind of sucks all the dirt and stuff out of those pores and um, I notice a huge difference. I've been using this, I got this probably mid to early December. I use it about three times a week um, and I have noticed a huge difference on how long it takes for those blackheads to come back on my nose. With the exfoliator, I have to use this like every other day, like I said. Um, or I have been having to use it like every other day. Since I've been using this, I do not have to use this as often. So that's really nice because this will be gone for like a day and then they come back. But I will be repurchasing this because I love to travel with it. I love to take it with me. And I don't necessarily do face masks when I travel. So this is like a good go-to. My next favorite is the Clinique Moisture Surge 72 hour auto replenishing hydrator as you can see it is uh getting getting pretty empty in here this is the second one i've gone through i picked this up during the ulta 21 days of beauty earlier this year where i picked up two of them um i love it i love this gel i did read that gel is better than like a cream for oily skin I feel like there's kind of a misconception out there that if you have oily skin, you don't need to moisturize as much. But if you don't moisturize, especially when you get out of the shower or the bath or something, your body will try to produce more oil. Um, and you want to hydrate your face. Basically, you want to hydrate your face even if you're oily. You just got to find the right product. Um, this gel has worked a lot better for me than a cream moisturizer. I noticed a huge difference in the dryness of my skin even though i have oily skin i do sometimes have dry areas like right in the in my on the corner of my nose sorry i'm flicking you off i have noticed a huge difference there especially this it's been you know it's winter and um i've definitely noticed that it is less dry and i noticed that my skin stays hydrated a lot longer than when i use a cream basically is what i'm trying to say so if you have oily skin i would definitely suggest this I don't really have very sensitive skin, um, so I can't recommend it for sensitive skin, but I think it's I think it's pretty good for oily skin. It does come in bigger jars, so I want to pick up a bigger jar of it. But it's like the biggest jar I think is two and a half ounces and it's $52, so it's 
It's not like I'm trying to go just splurge on a $52 moisturizer. Um, next is the Pixie Skin Treats Hydrating Milky Mist. I, this is my second bottle of it and I'm already like really low. I picked this up a couple months ago and I use it just when I get out of the I usually use this before I will put on a moisturizer. Um, I either use this or the, I forget. I usually use this, I do have another spray, the Mario Badescu spray, but I've had that for a couple years. Um, just as a nice refresher before I put on my moisturizer. This is a mist on moisturizer that provides a surge of hydration with hy hyaluronic acid to plump skin by trapping moisture. So the primer that I have been using daily, pretty much daily, unless I forget to use a primer, which happens sometimes, is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. And you can see I've, I've gotten down to here with it. I love this. I put it on after moisturizer, after the spray, for my foundation, and it just gives this like lovely glow to your skin. And I don't love the look of like a full, full coverage um, foundation without using this because I just feel like it looks like too matte basically. So this just kind of gives you a nice like glow from within underneath your moist underneath your foundation and it's perfect. It, I don't I don't really notice if it helps my makeup stay on longer, but I like the look of it um, under my foundation. And sometimes during the summer I will use a little bit of this as almost like a, just a highlight if I don't really use any foundation. I'll just use a little bit of it kind of on my cheekbones um, because it just gives you a really nice like glow from within. Moving on. I'm gonna go with kind of order, I guess, of how I put my makeup on. I've got four foundations here. This year was me really trying to find <clears throat> foundations for summer slash fall winter or spring summer slash fall winter, um, and finding what looks good on my skin. I was a lot more aware this year of how foundation actually looks on my skin if it settles into lines. Um, this summer. I used two foundations primarily, and that was the Pixie H2O Skin Tint and the Flower Beauty Light Illusion, which I have this in a couple shades. So the one that I used primarily in the summer was the Pixie H2O Skin Tint. This is perfect for no makeup makeup days. This is really just a tinted face gel and really does the trick when I don't wanna wear a lot of heavy makeup, especially because it gets god awful hot here and I sweat. So this is perfect for light makeup on a hot day. I will probably replace it before the summer next year because this is going to be a little dark. I have not picked it up in a lighter shade, but I wore this every day that I pretty much wore makeup um, over the summer. Something that was a little bit more full coverage that I did use in the summer when I didn't use that if I wanted to wear a little bit more makeup was the Flower Beauty Light Illusion. Um, this just really gives you a nice glow. A lot of the time in the winter, you know, the fall winter, you want more of a matte look. In the summer, you want more of a dewy look. I love a dewy look all year long. It is a, basically it says a luminous makeup, nude skin feel. So it's all day wear, SPF 18. But this just gave me a little bit more full coverage in the summer. If I wanted something for that, I didn't really wear a lot of full coverage in the summer because like I said, it's super hot and it just melted off my face. So this is something I found this year that I really enjoyed. For the fall and winter, I have two foundations that I found this year and I cannot decide which one I like better. So that's why they are both in this video. The first one is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation, which I am wearing at the moment. And I think it looks really nice. It's beautiful. Like I watched a couple reviews on this and a lot of people either love it or hate it. And I really liked it. And this is too dark of a shade, but I will show you something that I use to lighten it up here in a second. Um, it's a 24 hour wear foundation, which I do not plan to do, but it does give me all day coverage and looks nice on the skin. So I was really happy with this. I will probably be picking it up in other shades at yeah, drugstore and pretty dang good. A lot of this is drugstore. Interesting. 
The second one is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. I just picked this up, I think at the beginning of December, uh, maybe end of November. I can't remember exactly. But like I said, I can't really decide which one I like better. It's starting to get a little too dark for me, um, this shade. But I have really enjoyed it. It is super full coverage and you, it does layer on very well. So if you do kind of one layer and then do your, you know, makeup sponge thing and then, or blend it in and then add another layer, it layers very beautifully. I usually just do one layer because that's just how I roll. It's got this doe foot applicator. So a lot of people don't like that, but I don't mind it. Most people will vary with their skin tone throughout the year. I get pretty tan. Um, and then in the fall and winter, it just goes away. So when I have a darker foundation like this that I do like, I picked up the Catrice Prime and Fine Makeup Transformer Drops in Lightning. Um, basically, I squirt a little bit of this out, add a little bit of this, and voila, you have your exact shade. And actually, this is the first time I used this in this today and it turned out really good I was really impressed I've used it with the Urban Decay <clears throat> Naked Skin Foundation um, because even the lightest shade is a little too pink for me in the fall and winter so this worked out really well it's a little bit more yellow a little more neutral tone um, so that is exactly what I need I don't need pink toned anything <laughs> um, but this these transforming drops are amazing. They do make these in drops to make it darker. Um, and then they also do like illuminating drops, I think. So definitely you should check this out if you don't want to spend a ton of money on having foundation for winter, fall, spring, summer. If you want to use one foundation all year long and you're trying to like, you know, stay price conscious about it, get some of these lightning drops and get some of the darkening drops because you can transform any foundation into a lighter or darker shade and it's amazing and I'm really sad that I didn't pick this up earlier so we'll definitely be using that a lot more here soon since I'm losing my tan. I didn't really try a ton of new concealers this year. I or not any at least that like I was over the moon about. I used Tarte Shape Tape I used Maybelline Fit Me. I've been using those for a couple years now, so they're nothing new to me. I did pick up earlier this year the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin. Um, I have that on currently, and I love it. It's just a very light concealer. It brightens, it covers. Um, it's not super, super heavy, so I can kind of like use it just if I want to wear concealer, if I just need to cover up a little bit, or if I've got uh, more of a full coverage foundation, I'll do foundation under my eyes when I'm blending that in, and then I will do the um, better skin, just because it's a little bit lighter than like Tarte Shape Tape. So yeah, I picked this up this year, and I really like it. Um, it's definitely continuing on with me. I have a couple palettes, three palettes. Um, I did pick up the Baked Browns eyeshadow palette from Dose of Colors. Baked Browns eyeshadow palette from Dose of Colors. It is cruelty free, paraben free, and talc free, which is really nice. The colors blend beautifully. It's a matte. Um, it's a matte palette, so you don't have any shimmer shades in here, but that is okay. Um, I usually, when I travel, I usually take. Um, at least one palette that does have shimmer shades in it, so I don't have to worry about it. But these brown shades are beautiful, and this like kind of red, oh my gosh, they're so pretty, and they blend so well, and I just love them, and they're great. It's a great just like matte palette to take with you. Um, so I've usually always got it in my bag. And it's so compact and like, I mean, it's super little, so not super little, but it's like little enough, you know? Okay, you've got five matte shades in here, and it's perfect. You can do one complete look with this if you want to. Um, if you don't want any shimmer, basically you've got a transition shade, a, um, darker transition shade, uh, and, you know, some darker shades to do on the outer corner of your eye. You could even use this as a liner if you want. The brown on the end there would be a beautiful waterline liner. Um, but like I said, they blend beautifully and I incorporate it when I'm using another palette as well, just to get those nice transition shades second palette that I picked up this year that I really love is the Thrive Cosmetics um, Perfect Eye Palette. So this is your shimmer shade and then you've got five smaller mattes 
shades and one larger pan of a matte shade. Basically, this is your like, you know, all over lid color. And then you've got like some transition colors here and then your darker colors. I can create plenty of looks with this one palette. Um, there are some times where I, this, this is the only one I take with me um, just because I, I know I'm gonna go for a neutral look. And I mean, if you can't tell <laughs> what I like, Browns work for me. It's a great palette to just take with you if you just know you're gonna need some more neutral colors and then a nice shimmer shade here is perfect. I love it. When I know I'm gonna create a little bit more of a glam look, the Soft Glam Palette from Anastasia is what I take with me. It's so easy, you get everything you need in here. I'm wearing it currently on my eyes. Um, I started with Tempera, Dusty Rose, and then I've got Fairy all over my lid, and then I mixed Rustic and Cypress Umber. Um, I do love the Modern Renaissance palette, and that's probably, probably, like, one of my top two palettes that I have. This is just definitely my favorite from this year, and something that I use a lot. I started to use it a lot more, actually, this last month or two, and I've really been enjoying it. So if you don't have this, I would definitely pick it up. It's it's great. If you love Modern Renaissance, you will love this. I picked this up earlier this year. Uh, I can't remember why or how, or I think it was like maybe right before of summer. Um, but it is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. Y'all, this thing is amazing. So you've got your contour color here and a highlight shade here, and they complement each other so well. Um, this sculpt side is just gorgeous and it's probably my favorite like bronzer highlight combo that I have. Um, and I do travel for work so I love stuff that's just like, I got two products right here ready to go in this one little thing. So it's a little bit pricier product. Um, I picked it up off Nordstrom. If you're thinking about it, I would do it, get it. It's great. Um, something I picked up this year that has been around pretty sure forever, it's like a cult makeup classic um, product, is the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. And it is basically this little box of bronzer. And I was like, man, you know, it's so hyped up. Everybody's got it. Like, how good can it be? I was wrong. It's amazing. It's a great bronzer. Blush wise, I don't know how I haven't hit pan on this blush because I literally use it, if not every day. Um, this summer I used it like at least every other day this summer, if not every day. Um, and somehow it is still going. It's kind of rough at this point, but like the colors pay off is still really good. It's the Burt Bees Toasted Cinnamon Blush. And it is more of a dark kind of, not orangey, orangey it's I mean sorry okay don't mind the eyeliner on my hand but it's, it's more of a kind of a kind of a bronzy br brush bronzy blush um than normal it compares well with like a nice bronzer um but this is one that I bought on recommendation from Kathleen Lights she used this all the time and I was like god it's so pretty so I picked it up at Walmart and I really enjoyed it. It just, it works well with my skin tone. I don't usually do well with like a very pinky blush, um, a really dark blush, but this more neutral kind of, um, you know, nice natural color is, is something that I have really enjoyed this year and probably is the blush I've worn the most this year. So, Toast of Cinnamon, Burt's Bees, Walmart. Brow products, this has been a year for my brows, I feel like. And I've just experimented more with brow products this year and I've been really happy with the things that I have experimented with. Um, I do use brow pencil primarily, but I have learned fluffy brows this year. I really embraced the fluffy brow this year um, and have enjoyed that. So there's a couple products that I picked up this year that I really, really like and I will continue to buy. The first one that I picked up was the Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow. And this is like the first brow fiber um, product that I 
bought basically. Um, I picked up the brow, the fiber brow and the brow gel, same. Um, so I picked up the color Dutch and then the brow gel, the clear brow gel as well to just set the, set the brows. But this just has this really nice, most of them have something like this where it's a little kind of a bristly um, tip on the end and then you just kind of brush it through your brows, brush them up and brush the color of the little tint onto the brow. Um, the little fibers, I guess I should say. So it's really cool. It's really easy and simple. You just do, do, do. I fill it in with the pencil and then I do these. Um, I'm out of this right now. It's actually pretty empty. Um, and so is the brow gel. That was the first product that I bought from Milk Makeup and I need to buy a couple more because I really liked it and I hear really great things. So I want to check that out. Um, I also picked up the Essence Make Me Brow this year and yes, this thing is like $2 and it is great. I have it in my eye. I have it. I have it in my eyebrows right now and it's perfect for that kind of like brush up, make them look a little undone, um, but fill them in kind of look basically. And that's what I've really been going for this year. I really just kind of fill in my sparse areas with the pencil and then I take the, the fibers and it just kind of gives it a little fuller look and I really like it and I really enjoyed this Essence Make Me Brow for two dollars. So for lashes, this is the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions. This is a tubing mascara, so basically it coats your lashes with these, with the, 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 the um, product coats your lashes and it won't smudge, it won't flake, it won't budge on your eyelashes unless you take water and you wash your face basically or you just kind of move your fingers down on your eyelashes and it removes the tubes. It looks like your lashes but it's not. So basically this has been a great go-to because um, like I said it doesn't go anywhere unless you get it wet. Um, I use this on my lower lash line because I swear to god every mascara I use if on my lower lash line eventually will smudge. Not this stuff. Not this stuff. So. The Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions has been a really great find. Um, pro and con to tubing mascaras is it doesn't go anywhere. The con pro is it doesn't go anywhere except on the floor. Um, con is that you can't just take it off with the makeup remover. I need to get like... Um, like a micellar water or something or just regular water and really kind of take it on my eyelashes to get the mascara actually off. So it's a little struggle to get it off, a little extra step, but it doesn't go anywhere when you're wearing it. So no complaints there. The second mascara this year is the It Cosmet It Cosmetic Superhero Mascara. I got this in a BoxyCharm a couple months ago and I have loved it. I've heard about it and I was like, ah, oh, it can't be that great. Like I'm sure it's fine, da 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 da, da but you know, mascara. <clears throat> mm -mm. This is awesome. It really just it lengthens and it just like thickens your eyelashes and like that's really the that on the ground right there because I dropped it. The Thrive Cosmetics one is really great for separating and really kind of helping to lengthen your lashes. This gives them volume and so I use them in conjunction with each other sometimes. I use some on my top lashes. I don't really use it on my bottom. I use Thrive Cosmetics one. I keep pointing to the ground because it's on the ground. Um, but the Superhero one is great for volume. Uh, Coffee Break with Danny, she uses it all the time. And I've heard about it and heard about it and heard about it. And finally I got it a boxy charm, and I was like, perfect. So I really enjoyed it and it gives my lashes a lot of volume. I don't wear falsies. So I need some help with volume. All right, we're almost done. I feel like this is a lot. Is it a lot? It's too much, isn't it? It's only like 30, it's gonna be like a 40 minute video. I have three lip products, but it's a dose of colors on repeat. It has a flat paddle type applicator here. This is a beautiful color. It's it's really uh, more of like a your lip but better color, which I'm totally into. And I don't like a, I have small lips. So anything to make them look a little bit bigger, a little bit plumper is what I like. It's glossy, it doesn't dry down, um, it stays on really well and it looks great with a lot, a lot of, with a lot of looks. I, today, I put on the <clears throat> Bare Minerals um, Gloss in Groovy. 
So I did groovy first and then I put this on top of it. It's a little light. I love the formula of this and I really want to try other shades in it, but it's a little light for my lip, for my complexion. Um, but I really do love the formula. So I'm going to be picking up a couple more of these, but I love this combo and I will definitely be using both of these a ton and have been using both of these a ton. Another gloss that I picked up this year is the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in Fairy Floss. This is a great just like, just straight up, I'm going to pour that out, just lip gloss, um, really nude lip gloss color. It's great over other colors. Um, it's something I picked up this year and I really love it and I pair it well. I pair it with a lot of other lipsticks, especially if they're a little drying or, um, you know, maybe they're a little dark and need a little bit more of a, a lighter tint to it. I definitely will put fairy floss on top. All right, we're at the end. We're at the very, very end. Last product. This product is the Jo Malone Wild Bluebell. It says Cologne, but perfume. I picked this up on recommendation from Coffee Break with Danny, and I have picked up two. <laughs> it's like floral. It's a little masculine, a little spicy. Um, it's interesting, but you should smell it. You should smell it. <laughs> Do you want to smell it? <laughs> right now. Um, you should definitely go check it out. I know they have it at Nordstrom's. I ordered it off the website originally. So yeah, I have two of these. I got a backup, you know, I'm ready to go. But it's a brand I've never tried before and I really enjoyed it and I'm glad I gave it a shot. All right guys, those are all my favorites from 2018. Can't wait to take all of them into 2019 and try out some new products as well. So I hope you had a great holiday. I hope you have a great New Year's and I hope you have a great 2019. If you have any products that are your favorites from 2018, please comment them down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time. Bye. I should just slow down, you know? I talk so fast. It's a flaw. Hungry. This sweater is so weird. Am I crooked? Naked? Not naked. Naked. <laughs> that should not go in the video.